Hi, Red Fur Group. We are here this morning to go over your spelling list for week seven of Tea at Home. Um, you should have your Word Word packet printed in front of you. And as I read out loud, read out loud as well so you can get used to hearing and making the sounds in each of the words. Cleaner, cleanest, bigger, biggest, earlier, earliest, quicker, quickest, busier, busiest, rougher, roughest, heavier, heaviest, happier, happiest, lazier, laziest. And then your two bonus words are um, immigration and mesmerized. Uh, those two bonus words I selected from one of the book clubs that I'm doing is reading Esperanza Rising, and they were um, two of the vocabulary words from that book. Um, so immigration and mesmerized are your bonus words. Um, as you can tell with the rest of your list, you're basically focusing on adding the suffixes er and est. Now there are a few things that I want to talk about with this list and um, there are different rules that impact each of these words in different ways. So for example, the root word for lazy ends with a Y. Same with happy, same with heavy, Let's see where else we have it. Early, busy. So all of these words have root words that end with Y. So as you can see in those words, when you're adding the suffixes ER and EST to those words, you need to change the Y to an I and then add the suffix. So for each of those words, those rules apply. So it's important that you keep that in mind. Um, then the other one that I wanted to point out here is big, the root word big. Um, big follows the 111 doubling rule, um, which you should all be familiar with at this point. I talk about it all the time. Um, and basically, as we know, what that rule tells us is if a word starts with one consonant, has one vowel in the middle, ends with one consonant, and is one syllable long, big, then you need to double that final consonant before you add the suffix. So as you can see in big, er and big ist, that G was doubled. So just be careful of that there. Um, and I believe that's it. It's a pretty straightforward list. It's a great way for you to practice adding these suffixes and making sure that you know the rules for this. So good luck this week with this list. Have fun. And I'm sure that with practice, you'll do amazing on your spelling challenge on Friday.